types of office layouts. And now it is time to walk around and take in the scenery. Funny enough, hmm. I can see a lot going on right from here. Yes, that is because of the type of office layout we have. You see, offices are designed and arranged differently according to the test of the owner or owners and also so as to offer services effectively. And this arrangement is what is referred to as office layout? Yes, it depends on the nature of the organization and the public expectation. In regard to this, we have three different types of office layouts. Go on. There is the open plan, the enclosed and the landscape office layouts. What you see here is what is referred to as open plan office layout. I thought so. Mm. As you can see, we all work in a one room setting. But from what I see, there seem to be groups of workers doing a similar thing. That is correct. We may be working under one roof, but we have different departments and each one of them has their own supervisor. I see. Do you like it? Mm. As the CEO? Mm -hmm. Yes. I have an easy time managing the business since I can see what almost everyone is doing. Besides, I have supervisors in each group which makes me work even easier. Makes sense. Whenever I have information to pass, I just need to seek their attention, then I address them. You see, that way everyone receives information all at once. And is that any helpful? Yes, it is. There is no chance of the information being distorted before it reaches anyone. Okay, tell me more. This type of office layout discourages cases of corruption. I clearly get that picture. I can't imagine how someone can receive a bribe in this place without risking being seen by someone else. That would be very hard. It is also equally easy to realize when an employee is absent. That's true. Mm. The desk will be vividly empty. And because of this, employees rarely become absent without authorization. I like that. We also have benefits that relate to this workforce. For one, it is easier for workers to consult each other since they are all in the same place. That will eventually increase their output, I believe, because they get to resolve issues faster. Mm -hmm. Which also leads to teamwork. There is nothing half as good for an organization as having employees who work together. If you say so, you are the CEO here, not me. And the customer care services are improved because there is continuity in offering of services. What do you mean by continuity? Look, a customer seeking different services only needs to move from one desk to another, which is easier than moving from one office to another. Secondly, if an employee is absent, another employee can easily stand in for them and assist the customers. Thanks for the explanation. That is why I'm here. It is also quite easy to locate any worker because they are all in one room. And finally, we have advantages related to the physical structure itself. Mm -hmm. See, constructing an open plan office is quite cheap in comparison to enclosed office layout. Why? Because basically, you are just constructing one big hall with small workstations, while for enclosed offices, you will be constructing rooms for each of the offices. I see. And such an office encourages the effective use of office resources and equipment since there are some equipment they can share. Such as? Look over there. What do you see? A printer. Oh, and it is so big. Yes, that printer is shared out by the workers in the middle. There is one at the back and one in the front. Now I get you. If it was an enclosed office setting, mm. you would have to buy many more printers than just these three. I'm glad you're getting the point. Lastly, I have very few cleaners here because it is quite easy to clean and maintain this place. Wow, there are so many benefits to such an office. Mm. Why didn't everyone just have an open plan office? Well, because for one, sometimes it becomes noisy and employees become easily distracted. Machines like the printer makes a lot of noise and there are also employees who simply love to chat and laugh. I understand them. I love to chat too. Well, as long as you know that there is time for everything, then chatting is not such a bad idea. Secondly, there is lack of privacy because everything is done and said in the same room. And by the way, if you hadn't told me that there are supervisors in each group, I wouldn't have known. That is another problem with this kind of arrangement. You simply cannot tell who holds which rank unless you are told. Because of this, senior workers may lose morale. I'm afraid that this is also not good health-wise. Mm, would you elaborate? 
What if one of the workers had a cold, for example? Mm. Everyone working around them would risk the same. You have a point. There could be overcrowding too, which would make proper ventilation a nightmare. It's also quite difficult to keep the office neat and tidy. Now I understand why some people choose the enclosed office layout. Mm-hmm. In the enclosed office layout, one or two people are accommodated in an enclosed room. Its major advantage is the maintenance of confidentiality since there is privacy. Mm-hmm. There is little to disturbance and therefore each worker can work efficiently and such staff are highly motivated because they feel like they own their space. I get it. It is also quite easy to track resources and any misuse can easily be detected. So the workers have no choice but to be responsible. Indeed. The workers' valuables like money and documents are also well secured. They do not have to worry about someone getting into their bags while they are at work. Exactly. Things like lighting, heating, and air conditioning can also be controlled easily to suit the needs of the occupants. Lastly, senior officers would feel important as the privacy confers status to them. I think it has as many shortcomings as the advantages. How did you figure that out? Because the advantages are not that many. For one, supervision would be quite a challenge since it would mean walking in and out of every office. Secondly, you already mentioned that building an enclosed office would be quite costly in relation to an open plan office. Good work. I'm not done yet. Mm. Passing information in such an office would also be difficult because the employees are scattered in different parts of the building. Hmm, that's my girl. It is very difficult to know if an employee is absent or even if they are just at work but doing nothing. Movement from one office to another also takes a lot of time which would have otherwise been used to do something constructive. Mm-hmm. The maintenance cost has to be high because the cleaners and messengers and so on must be employed for every office. Call them the subordinate staff. Thank you. And finally, mm. it is difficult to monitor various resources such as computers and telephones. Wow, that is a job well done. Thank you. I think I'll go straight into landscape office layout. Yes, please. Tell me about it. Well, it looks so much like an open office layout, only that it is of higher standards in terms of outlook, furniture, and equipment. Mm, please explain more. It is more designed to look beautiful and attractive. It can have indoor plants, shrubs, carpets, air conditioners, and so on. I would definitely want to work in such an office. I'm sure everyone would want to. It may be partitioned using classes that are not more than 1.5 meters. Is everyone in the same floor including the senior management? That is a good question. The senior management can be placed in a raised platform so that they can monitor the junior staff better. Sounds better. The advantages of a landscape office are almost similar to those of an open office plan. You mind helping me with that? I don't mind at all. It promotes teamwork as they are all in the same place and supervision is easy as the senior management is in a raised platform. Yes. Equipment can be shared since the employees are in the same place. Mm. It discourages absenteeism and laxity as it can easily be detected. It is also easy to locate workers when they are needed. Maintenance cost is low and finally, it is easy to pass information. Very good work. One last thing. Uh-huh. The decorations make the environment an attractive place to work, which makes the employees very proud. Thank you. Now I can quickly run you through the disadvantages. Yes, please. Noise from machines and other workers may be distracting. Mm -hmm. It is expensive to set up this kind of an office because of all the beauty in it. Mm -hmm. It does not confer honors to senior employees. Mm -hmm. The setup is more inclined to beauty than work. And there's no privacy. After all is said and done, I still choose an open plan office. <laughs> that is why I chose it, dear. Soon, I am going to show you all the equipment we have in this office. My goodness, I can't wait. Mm -hmm.